Hi Pisces, welcome to your special retrograde forecast for singles and please take note that this is only a general reading. It doesn't really pertain to all, okay? And I still have to record or publish the uh, special retrograde forecast for couples plus the money in general for all signs. Let's take a look. How will you find love and what's going on with your money as a, sorry, with your money and careers using the pyramid spread? Alright, let's take a look. Ooh. Pisces, you're broken hearted. <sighs> let's take a look more about that. Mm -mm. And this is the bottom line of your card. Ooh. A uh, water sign and an earth sign. Mm -hmm. You know, you are trying to make a choice and you are trying... Well, it's uh, actually not about two people, you know, that's involved. But it's more of between yourself and then this people or this two. You know, it's like you're waiting, f you're torn between the two. You're waiting for the earth sign to commit. You're waiting for the water sign to come around. So it's like you don't know which one is better, which you don't know which one will be taking you seriously. You're so heartbroken because you have, let's say, invested your emotions, you invested your energy, your time, and everything else with the earth sign. But it's like, you know, it's not enough. It's like you're waiting for something that's never going to happen and you're also waiting for the water sign to come around. However, the water sign is kind of just new or fresh and they, you know, this person just come around like um, in a few, like mm, within a few weeks later after this or a few months later after this earth sign. I feel like you have more established foundation with this earth sign. Because you, this is the one that you've been waiting to commit to you. Or it could be the other way around. Because, you know, this is a general reading. Okay, it's all, it's all really up to you. How will you fit yourself in, to this reading? Or how will you fit your situation to this reading? Okay? It seems like there's more friendship. There's more rapport. And there's more chemistry with this earth sign. But it's like you don't know. You're so afraid to ask the big question. Like, are you going to be committing or not? You know? You are so afraid to get rejected again because there are a lot of, let's say, there are a lot of boundaries that you have to cross, that you have to make, that you have to jump. Either this is going to be, you know, either this person is their, their moon rising is earth or their sun is this earth. Um... They're very hardworking, dedicated to their job and dedicated to their success. But they lack love and compassion into their life. No relationship actually works out for them because, you know, deep inside of them, they're also waiting for somebody to come around their life. But they are so afraid to make the big step or make the big decision because they are so afraid to get hurt as well. They've been betrayed and they've dealt with a broken heart in the past and they don't want to feel that same way again. That's why they've already defied the art of loving and being in a relationship. So both of you are waiting for one and the same thing. Now, I don't feel like that this earth sign is dating any other person, but it seems like this person is also waiting for you to... Could be that there is a sign that they are waiting as well, you know, just like you. Now, this other water sign, this younger water sign or old... Actually, it's not older, just same age. Younger or same age. Well, this person is like... This person lacks direction. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. And they don't know, you know, what to do with, with their life. And they don't know what they want. Now, they're looking for somebody who will be their guidance, who will be their teacher, and who will be their mentor. That even though you don't want to be that person, you feel and you care more for this person because you feel like you're very... You're, you, you feel responsible, okay, for this person. And you feel like you can give the meaning that they're looking for. You can give the way, the guide, the light, okay? Don't be a hero. 
okay? And don't carry someone else's baggage just to make their journey lighter because you're not doing them a favor, okay? You're teaching them how to do things the wrong way. Now, you will be hearing from a uh, fire sign from the past. And I feel like this person will be giving you more lighter advice and will be giving you more enlightenment. Plus, I feel like this person used to be entangled in your life. More likely a former relationship as well. Okay? But you only want to be friends with this person. Nothing more and nothing less. Now... You are already having a hard time making a choice because you don't know if there's really a choice to make or if there is something that you have to think about or should you just move on to another chapter or to another person because you really want to be in a relationship, you know? Now, there's this person who's very cut off and dry and then the other person is also very defensive and very sensitive and which is which should be better for you. Well... It's actually the one who knows how to communicate and who knows how to express themselves instead of playing mind games. And you will be finding more happiness when you release them both. Because whoever that is really meant to be with you or meant for you will be the one who's going to come back. And I feel like there will be a brand new beginning and movement. Plus, I feel like you will also be traveling within a month from now. If you really want to move on. Yep. Travel within the next two days, two weeks, and two months. There will be success plus. Success about when, about a job or career. New job opportunity or business. And you will be hearing from the right person. Which is the younger water sign? Or which is the, the other water sign? And I feel like by the time, because I feel like you will be tr uh, moving to a new place that is related to your job. And then this younger person wants to be with you or wants to come with you. Uh, don't be a sugar daddy, sugar mama. And I feel like you'll be prioritizing your work rather than living with somebody first. Because you know what? You're actually okay being on your own. And if you will be adding up relationship to your life right now... You'll be adding up more complications to everything. And with the earth sign, you would just decide to walk away from this. Because you feel like you're just waiting out for nothing. You feel like it's not going anywhere. Mm. Well, let's see. Okay, because it's retrograde and who knows, it might change next month, next year. Let's take a look at your careers and finances. That is continuously blooming. You're lucky when it comes to your job and opportunities, business opportunities or financial opportunities. But when it comes to your love life, some Pisces are really zero. Or even if you've been dating or seeing someone, the commitment is a struggle. Or the relationship itself. Let's take a look. Mm, changes. Job. Heartbreak. Well, actually, it's not the heartbreak from work. It is because that you will be moving from one place to another. And, of course, that when you leave a place behind, there will be some memories that you also have to leave. Okay? So, the broken heart or the heartbreak is will be coming from that and not from something else. Now... As I've said that there will be a brand new beginning, new movement, changes, development, progress, and there will be a new there will be a contract that you will also be signing. So whatever the sacrifices that you need to make in terms of your job change or in terms of your career um uplift, it will be, you know, it will do you good. It will be all for the better. So don't take heart into losing something in the process. Now, you will also be traveling. You will be meeting somebody from the past who will be your guide and who will be mentoring you. I also feel like be careful with an older fire sign who's going to be taking advantage of you, who will be using you, and who will be manipulating you. If this person will be giving you something, make sure that be smart because this person is a give and sorry. 
when they give, they want to take it back. Once you leave them or once you decide to break up with them. Okay, so be very careful about this. Otherwise, be smart. Alright. Now, right after this, a brand new beginning, new contracts. Happiness is the bottom line. Okay. And I feel like you're going to be very fulfilled with the new place that you're going to be in. Because it's going to be new ambiance, new environment, and new energy, and new air. Now, for those who's looking for a career change, healer, support, and practice. You have the gift of healing people or, uh, what do you call this, like uh, giving some medical advices or, or herbal, you know, herbal healing, energy healing, crystal healing. This is what you need to look into. And if you want, if you're still a student, they're trying to look for the right path in your life. Try looking into medical programs or medical courses. Children is what gives you more meaning and uh, more happiness. You may also opt for a, um, like volunteering for an orphanage or children's organization. You'll find more infinite abundance in helping out other people and giving meanings or light or, you know, guidance into their life. Just like what the other younger water sign around you. Because you feel like you are the guide or, you know, you just feel somehow responsible for this person's path. Energy healing. I've already mentioned this. Okay. So medical healing, medical field, energy healing, and metaphysical stuff. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this time, Pisces. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls, just go and visit me at my website, sofiaangel.net. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And thank you for following me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. All right. Blessings to you.